Hey everyone, it's Brittany, and don't worry, I have my water. I also have, or thought I had a Diet Coke around here. It's gone. It's probably out in the kitchen because I forgot to bring it in with me. That's fine. Huh. So, week four of keto is done. Done. It's crazy how it's only week four at the same time, it feels like I've been doing this forever. But that's probably because my brain is connecting the, all the times I've done keto together in this great bond of friendship where like it's freaking my mind out. Four weeks, not eight weeks, four weeks, four weeks done. And last week was great. Last week was great. And I told you that I probably wasn't going to get as big of a loss as I was hoping because I weighed myself on Tuesdays and then I was going to weigh myself on Monday. Well, girl, I don't know what happened, but not happy with the weight I was this morning. Not at all. Like not at all. And I don't know what it was. Last week, I don't even remember what I was last week. 314.6? I think. And earlier in the week or later on last week before the weekend, I was down to 312. And oh, I was so excited. I was so close to that 310 point. I was going to cream it. And then I woke up this morning and I was 316. So I'm up two pounds. And I know, I know it's so dumb. And I know that it's the scale trying to trick me into eating Cheetos, that's not happening. I'm just trying to figure out what caused the gain. I'm thinking it was because it was the weekend and I'm not as adamant about drinking my water on the weekend because I'm doing stuff. Like I'm not at my work desk. I don't have, a, I had the, rem actually, do I have the reminder? I have a reminder from the app Flow, which are where I track my periods from. It reminds me to take my pills and reminds me to drink water. Well, when I'm on the weekend, I don't have my phone like right next to me at all times. So I don't notice the alarm at work. Yeah, I'm going to notice it going off at work because it's at work and I'd really be rather doing anything water drinking than working sometimes. So that's why I drink more water at work. Now I'm all like flustered. Cool. So, yeah, I think I figured out what could have possibly caused it. Um, well, A, just normal work, work stress. Uh, we're doing, like I said last week, I'm not going to Vegas, but I'm going to be the only person in my department I'm gonna, uh, for the next four days. And I'm going to be without my tech manager because he's on vacation and he deserves every freaking second of it. Don't ever think I'm not grateful or ungrateful for my tech manager. He is a saint and I don't know how he deals with some nonsense. I digress. It's just me. So I think in the back of my head, I'm a little anxious. Otherwise, I feel pretty fine. I've been having a hard time getting to sleep and please anyone else that does keto tell me that I'm not alone because I it takes me well I used to have like insomnia which so it's it's much better than it was back when I was like back in the 350s and I noticed that I do sleep better the more weight I lose which makes sense um but I just can't get comfortable and my brain I I don't know I can't fall. I can't get comfy. I can't get comfy. And part of it is because there's a pinched nerve in like my spine somewhere that when I lay on my back, it causes um, my left leg to like go numb, just like on the outside. Um, I might have something to do with my sciatica. I don't know. Um, and it's just when I lay flat on my back, but that's where I'm most comfortable sleeping. So I end up on my back at some point in the night, but for the most part, I have to fall asleep on my side with a pillow between my legs to keep my back leg elevated. Now, 
I hit old woman stage at 30. Um, I have this sciatic <laughs> pillow on my chair right now. It has really helped. I have a um, lumbar support cushion at work, and that's been really helping, um, keeping me with better posture throughout the day, which has also been helping me sleep because I'm not so like cranky and itchy. And, you know, no, my back kind of hurts today, and I don't know why. Probably because I couldn't sleep last night. Ugh. But anyone else that's doing keto, that's having a problem falling asleep, let me know. And let me know if you have a solution. And it's weird because I, f I don't fall asleep fast enough, but I st it takes like less than 30 minutes for me to fall asleep. But it takes forever at the same time. I don't know. I would love to be like laying down out within like 10, 15 minutes, but no, it takes like up to a half hour. And I'm up all night peeing because drinking my water and I don't know. Great plus though, is that when I am up in the morning, like I am up, you know, I'm not hitting the snooze button for 30 minutes. I am awake and I am alert and I'm ready to go when I, I just pop right out of bed and my back isn't aching. I don't feel sore. Like obviously I'm still sleepy, but like I'm present in the moment, which is very different from how it used to be. Also total random sidebar. How cute is this shirt, right? It's from and I'm probably going to be filming this where this shirt came from this haul next weekend because I'm going to be working all weekend I'm not going to have any spare time to be filming but keep an eye out because this was also in the clearance are you like I love it I still wear I'm not wearing any strapless bras I got no one to impress please anyway I gained weight and it sucks, but I think I figured out where it came from and it's from my favorite burrito place, El Diablo. I made a mistake. I've been getting their salads. It's delicious, but and they have this amazing lime shallot vinaigrette that they put on it. And I meant to say no, no sauce because I know it has sugar in it. Otherwise, the salad is perfect. It's got lettuce, it's got mushrooms, it's got bacon, it's got steak, it's got, oh, what else did I put in? I got some pepper jack cheese. I got some sour cream. I got, ooh, I don't think I got any, I did not get any corn salsa, that's always so tempting. And I got some pico de gallo. Um. And I'll just put a picture up here real quick of what it looked like. It's really hard to explain. If you're not from my area, you don't know what El Diablo is. And if you are from my area and you don't know what El Diablo is, you're missing out. You're, um, you're, you're missing out. You need to go. Um, I shouldn't have gotten the vinaigrette at all, but I did. And I feel like that's kind of what... And But it's weird because it's also the only thing I ate that day. Because it's such such a big thing. But I just told you the ingredients. Like, it's not, I didn't have any rice. I didn't have any beans. The sour cream was really good. Was it a lot of sour cream? It might have been. But still, only thing I ate that day. And that was when I went from like 312 to 317. I went to 317 on Monday. So that was a five pound difference. And I know I did not, did not gain five pounds in a night. So slowly just trying to knock back some more water, make sure I'm keeping up with my medicine. Besides the burrito bowl, just technically really just a salad. It's a burrito salad. It's a salad. Um, I had to switch out my protein powder for my keto coffee in the morning. And I realized that the flavor that I got is cookies and cream. I used to just use the salted caramel and oh my God, it was so good. And the cookies and cream is good too, but it's literally twice the amount of carbs. So it is seven carbs in the morning, like in my coffee. Uh, 
and normally it's like three. Not thrilled. I don't know what I was looking at when I grabbed it, but luckily I only have to use it for like two weeks and I'm not going to not use it. I might try to cut back the scoop because it's for a scoop with seven carbs, but it also makes my coffee very sweet. So I think if I have the protein powder, but I also have the protein, but it's, we're just going to have to kind of finagle it until I use it up. And then I'm going to have to try one of the other flavors that they had at the store. They had vanilla, they had chocolate, and they had peanut butter. And of course, they had salted caramel. So anyone that uses the Quest protein powders, let me know what your favorite flavor is because I'm totally willing to try anything. But those are what they have at the store. I have not seen the peanut butter before. And I was really wondering if I wanted peanut butter in my coffee. And then I realized that I do because it's peanut butter and coffee. I think that also has something to do with my weight being kind of funky. Because I don't track. And I know, I know I should be tracking all my macros. But it really like freaks my brain out. Like I get overly anxious about it. I might track for the next two days to kind of just get an idea of where I am because I'm more of an intuitive eater. Um, I'll have to see what I'm instinctually picking is good enough or if I have to start kind of starting back into meal prep because I did meal prep really well when we went, we went to Aldi's, but I haven't been back to Aldi's. So I'm kind of like grabbing little things like here and here and here to like make a cohesive thing. I really, really want egg roll in a bowl again. And I really want that cheeseburger casserole because that lasted me like a week. So good, but I just haven't had the time and really right now, not the money to drop a hundred bucks at the grocery store. Per usual, despite the fact that I have a list down here, I'm all over the place. I told you that I gained weight. Let's look at inches shall we? So I just did the math on my inches, my measurements, and I lost 5.25 inches. And the best part is that some of them are from places that I've been waiting the other three weeks for inches to disappear from. I lost an inch on, well, on my chest, not my bust. My actual boobs are the same size. Um, my chest dropped, what is that? An inch? It dropped a whole inch. Really happy with that. I have noticed that my bras are not like super like up in my shit, which is good. I also lost half an inch in my waist. Good. I lost half an inch in my hips. Now, as I said before, I cannot get this measuring tape completely around my hips because my hips are so big, but I am like three quarters of an inch away from them touching. Like I can definitely tell that there is a substantial shrinkage in the separation of the measuring tape on my hips. And that makes me really excited because that is where it's impossible for me to lose inches, apparently. Uh, where else did we lose? Looking at here. Thighs. Uh, I lost a half an inch on my right thigh, which is good because in ooh, like three weeks, I'm getting some additions to my tattoo on my right thigh. So it's got to look sharp. Uh, let's see. Knees. Why? Why am I losing in my knees and it's really like just like the fat above my knees not really like I'm not measuring my knees you measure right above your knees um and you know that like larger people some people have like a bit of like a little like boop like a little boop shelf like some extra that must be like really what it is because I lost um half an inch in one and an inch on my other knee by week five I might not even have a right knee it's just going to be bone I don't know why my right knee keeps fluctuating in different 
no measurements, but down an inch. Why, world? Why is that where you decide to take the inch and not literally anywhere else? Let's look. Calves, the same. Upper arms, I lost three quarters of an inch on this baby. <sighs> now you see I'm not wearing a cardigan because it's fucking hot outside. And it is eight o'clock at night. It's 85 degrees. And I'm just trying to put myself a little bit more out of the comfort zone. My, my, my shoulders need some air. I have really big shoulders. I have really big arms too. Like, look at these. See, there we go. They're showing my insecurities. This is not great. Glad you didn't see my armpits because I haven't shaved in like three weeks. Anyway, forearms. No change. Which is fine. Um, so yeah, five and a quarter inch lost, which, uh, in the weeks that I've been measuring, it puts me at what? 11 inches off my body, which is way cooler to say than five inches, you know, um, slowly but surely I'm gonna be skinny. And by skinny, I mean like at a healthy weight. I don't know if I've ever told you, but like my goal right now, my goal right now is to get under 300. My overall goal right now is to get to 180 because I have not been 180 since junior high. Like I don't know my body at 180. I'm not going to try to say like 120, 150 because I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to hit the 180 and see where the Lord takes me. And on that note, we're done. That's it for the video. I need to edit this video and upload this video tonight so you guys can see it Wednesday. Lord, give me strength. And I will see you guys later. Bye.